Welcome to the PFO channel. I'm Jim. It's winter time, so I've got the travel trailer inside the workshop for the winter. And this is a good opportunity to do some repairs or maintenance on it. What I'm doing today is trying to fix this little T handle. This is off of the gray water valve. Right down underneath here, this is our uh, our sewer outlet. And you got the black water valve out there and the gray water right there. I grabbed a hold of this thing and pulled and this side right here just snapped right off. But fortunately, I've got this plastic welding gun here. This is an awesome tool. I just bought this this fall on Amazon. I'll put a link below. And it is quite an amazing thing. I'm going to use this uh, squiggled electric staple. I don't know what else to call it here. It's They act as staples, but they're electrically heated staples. I think right like that. One on the front and one on the back, maybe. Get this other bag that are shallow squiggle. And that should be able to go right up on this top edge. And another one of those on the other edge. I'm gonna have to get under here with it to be able to see what I'm doing on this back side. These are the inside corners. I'm gonna get two of those. Okay, bury it in and untrigger it. And let it set for a second, cool. Then pull it out, there we go. Okay, that is nice and tight already. So now I gotta just go around and give this uh, little stainless steel porcupine a haircut. So what I do to, to avoid these things turning into little projectiles shooting all over my shop, I hold it with one and snip it with the other. And then drop them into my ice cream bucket nearby. Never have too many old ice cream buckets laying around. And making empty ice cream buckets is one of my favorite pastimes. In fact, whenever I see a, an ice cream bucket that isn't empty, I take it as a personal challenge to make sure that that situation gets rectified as quickly as possible. Now that's going to grab onto my fingers next time I use it. So there's one more step I got to take. And I'm just going to take a, my rotary tool here with an abrasive wheel on it and just clean up these tips. So I got the front and both sides. There you can see the inside corners on that back edge. There you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.